The Elimination Chamber is tonight. You have the big main event for the WWE Championship. John Cena defending against AJ Styles, The Miz, Dean Ambrose, Baron Corbin, and Bray Wyatt. Now, you have Randy Orton in action earlier in the night. He will be wrestling Luke Harper in a grudge match in singles competition. Now, I expect Orton to go over in that one. You really don't want your main event headliner for WrestleMania going down to Luke Harper. Not, nothing taken away from Luke Harper, but I don't think it would look good if he goes down um, a month before the big show. So I think Luke Harper will be made to look strong because I think he's he is getting a push, and rightfully so. But Randy's got to go over, and he will. Now we get to the actual chamber match with Cena and all these guys. And it's funny because the heavy rumor that I'm looking at on the internet is that Cena will drop the title. And to me, I feel that that's just a kick in the face to Ric Flair's 16 title reign. So, you mean to tell me if Cena drops the title on Sunday, tonight, which apparently that's what's going to go down. You mean to tell me he tied Ric Flair, made history, only to drop the title about two weeks later? So, a record-breaking title win was just, like, a stopgap? Really? Now, let's be realistic. Corbin will not win tonight. Mig, uh, Miz and... Ambrose will not win tonight. So, that leaves you with three choices. Wyatt to win, AJ to win, Cena to win. This is why I think AJ winning makes no fucking sense at all whatsoever. It's the most dumb fuck idea of all time. If AJ is to win tonight, and I wouldn't mind AJ versus Orton in WrestleMania, but in terms of logic, and I know the WWE... Sometimes doesn't use logic. If they were to somehow have fucking AJ win the match, you mean to tell me, and, and, and I want an explanation as to why Cena then had to tie Ric Flair at 16 and beat Styles cleanly at the Royal Rumble, only to have AJ win it in the chamber two weeks later. You could have had just AJ retain the title, not win it again. Makes no fucking sense. So, logically, I don't see AJ winning. But then again, logic, WWE, Vince, the writers, doesn't really go that much. Two scenarios, well, actually three scenarios I can see. One, Cena wins. Cena retains Cena and Orton at WrestleMania. The other option is Bray Wyatt wins the match. And really can make a case Bray's first ever big win. Sets up Bray and Orton at WrestleMania. And we've seen some dissension in the Wyatt family now. So it would only make sense for that to happen. And I think Bray and Orton would be a hell of a match. Or you have this. And you have to really look at this. If they put the title on Cena. And logically you're like, well, why is he going to drop the title so soon? Cena and Wyatt will be the final two in the chamber. Something will happen where they will hit each other so hard with something or whatever. They will go to... Someone will go to pin somebody. Both shoulders will be down. Cena's shoulders will be down and Bray's shoulders will be down. That will result in, upon further review on Tuesday on SmackDown, it will be a no contest leaving you with a triple threat match, Orton, Cena, Wyatt, for the title at WrestleMania. That's three possibilities that could happen. The, the three logical ones, in my opinion. Cena wins, Wyatt wins, it's a draw, triple threat, Cena, Wyatt, Orton at WrestleMania. Me, personally, I would love to see three people win this match tonight. And that's obviously AJ. I wouldn't mind seeing The Miz win. 
and I wouldn't mind seeing Wyatt win. I'm actually rooting for any of those three to win tonight. Um, to me personally, if you were to ask me, Chris, wild card, what do you think really is the thing that we have to look at? You're not predicting it, but it could happen. It's the wild card to look out for a possibility. I would say Miz winning it. Again, AJ winning it makes no fucking sense because then you mean to tell me that Cena tying Ric Flair was only a transitional title reign? That's fucking bullshit. So I think the wild card, something to look for, something that could happen, I wouldn't sleep on it. My sleeper pick is the Miz winning it tonight. 